guys, Jeff here from Films at Home, and today got a quick little collection update video to do for you. It's currently uh, halftime of the Patriots game where we're just rolling again. It's too easy, and so I had a few minutes and I wanted to show off some uh, new titles that I had to my collection and also give you a quick update on what I'm going to be doing with this movie room, which should make for an exciting video uh, in the next few weeks. So stay tuned for that. We'll jump into the titles first, then I'll talk about the room, uh, but let's just jump right into it. So a few of these titles are review copies and a few were actually purchases made by me. I'll start with the purchases. Um, I found this on Amazon for only six or seven dollars and realized I didn't own it yet on Blu-ray and remember watching this a lot as a kid. And so I picked up James and the Giant Peach, a uh, Disney movie. It does come with the uh, Disney movie rewards and, and all that good stuff. So that was kind of cool for $7, you know, no slip cover, but that was a, a great deal. Uh, every now and then Amazon will drop the price on one of these really cool titles. Um, they might be out of stock, but you can order them and get them within a week or two. And so that's what I did here in uh, Grab James and the Giant Peach. Another purchase I made recently, I made this through Mercari, which is a really good app if you're looking to buy movies, Blu-ray 4K. Um, it's it's super easy. It's way easier than eBay, in my opinion, and less people know about it. Um, but I grabbed Brightburn on 4K. I uh, haven't seen this yet. Just came in a few days ago. Wanted to get the 4K because uh, I heard good things about it. And I heard it was a pretty scary, you know, gory movie. And so, you know, I'm a horror fan. That's what I'm into. And so I got this for $13 with free shipping. Um, you know, being this close to release, that's a pretty good deal, especially for a title that's not an upgrade, but is an, an absolute new release. It isn't something like Gremlins that was, you know, re-released on 4K. 13 bucks is a great deal. Slipcover is a little banged up. It is what it is. I'm not too worried about it, but um, I'm excited to check this one out soon. Now for review copies, I just got this in from RLJ Entertainment. This is a score to settle, Nicolas Cage movie. He's been doing a lot with RLJ Entertainment. He did Mandy with them too. And this looks like a similar thing, looking at the back. You know, diagnosed with a fatal condition, Frankie Carver is released from prison after serving 19 years. With only a short time left to live, he must desperately try to make a, amends with the son he left behind, and he has a bloody course of revenge. The bloody course of revenge part definitely lines up with Mandy, so I'm excited to check out a score to settle from RLJE. Nicolas Cage, you know, people think he's nuts, but some of his movies recently have actually been pretty decent. And I heard that this got decent reviews. It's kind of a gritty, gory, you know, murder, revenge movie again. But um, I'm a Nicolas Cage fan, so I'm definitely excited to watch it. Another title I got in from Universal is The Dead Don't Die, which claims to have the greatest cast of any zombie movie ever assembled. And I think they might be right. You got Bill Murray, Adam Driver, Danny Glover, Tilda Swinton, Steve Buscemi, um, Riza, Sarah Driver, Rosie Perez, Tom Waits, Selena Gomez, Chloe Savini, um, Caleb Landry Jones. I mean, there's a ton of people in this. Unfortunately, I heard it was just okay. I was really excited. Um, so I'm going to check it out. I'll, I'll see what I think about it. But, um, you know, it looks like a goofy zombie comedy, maybe something like Shaun of the Dead, but with a, an expanded cast. But anytime you put Bill Murray or Adam Driver in a zombie movie, um, that interests me, so I want to check out how that goes. And uh, just on Blu-ray for this one, there is no 4K. Um, but thanks to Universal for sending that out. And then last but not least, we got Mean Girls. This is the new 15th anniversary edition. Yes, it's been 15 years since Mean Girls came out. That's wild. But the cool thing about this is I like colored Blu-ray cases. I like when they do something different. Uh, there's one for the Hulk, which is green. There are a couple black ones before 4K came out that were really cool. There's a couple red ones. And this is pink, and I don't have a pink one. So Mean Girls in the pink case. Um, this is from Paramount. This came in just the other day. This release is pretty soon. But Mean Girls is actually, uh, it's been out of print on Blu-ray for a while. So this is a re-release. You're going to be able to get it for a very reasonable $10 even on release day. But I like the pink case. That's really cool. Um, you know, on the inside, nothing special. There is um, some talk about there's a Broadway musical that's coming out. I don't know, Mean Girls Broadway musical. But no digital copy or anything. Pretty bare bones release. But the pink cover... Uh, the pink case, sorry, is actually really cool. It's going to stick out in a shelf, and if you're a fan of the movie, 
this is probably the one you want to get. So now for the rest of the room here, this is what I want to talk about quickly, but I'll be making a video in the next couple of weeks. This is going to be a huge undertaking. But if you look at my room right now, I'm going to swap the camera around in a second and talk to you guys, but it's a, a little bit of a mess and it needs some work and it needs some organizing. I've been kind of caught up in some stuff. Uh, I've been making videos and not paying as much attention to the room and taking care of it. And so I'm going to talk about what I'm going to do and you'll see that in a future video. So over here, we get kind of a mess of stuff. I'm going to keep that big shelf over here. I got kind of more of a mess of stuff. Um, but I think I need to, I want to rearrange this because I can fit another shelf there and I could fit two of those shelves in this spot. And then I want to move this shelf over here. Uh, maybe adjust this shelf. You can see there's all kinds of stuff everywhere because I'm kind of running out of room. And then I do want to put, uh, maybe two shelves here and then move these guys over. I've also cleaned out this closet and I'm going to turn that into a place to store movies. So that's kind of exciting. Uh, just going to clean up the whole room as a whole. It's uh, getting a little bit out of control. But the other cool thing I'm going to do, and a lot of people talk about this when they watch my videos. If you look at one of these shelves, right, you'll see there's really no rhyme or reason other than genre. And so I talked about that, how this shelf is kind of like drama, action. The shelf over there is horror movies. Over here is DVDs, over here is more horror, and then over here is 4K, A24, comedies, and box sets, right? So I always did it by genre. I'm going to pull all of these off, all of those off, everything, the criterion, by the way, right here, and I'm going to try to do A to Z order. And so there's 2,000 movies, and so it's going to be an interesting process, but I want to start here, A, B, C, D, and then expand over to here, E, F, G, H, and then basically just go around the room clockwise and then go, you know, here's my S, R, T, Z in order. Then I'm gonna use the other shelves that I have left over like this for Criterion Collection. I'm gonna pull my Scream Factory movies off and put them in a shelf like this. I'll pull my 4Ks off and put them in one of these shelves completely and I'll have some of the A24 movies. And so it's sort of gonna be, it's gonna be A to Z going this way around the room. And then I'm gonna have segmented collections. So I'll put a shelf there that's just Screen Factory and like Arrow Video. Criterion shelf will go somewhere, maybe in the closet, if you've seen the Criterion closet uh, collection videos, those are cool. And then over here, have something like all 4Ks um, and all A24 movies, uh, maybe like, two shelves here that do that because these will finish the alphabetical. So it's going to be a big circle of alphabetical order all the way around. So it's going to be quite the undertaking. There's, you know, I'm going to have to take everything off these shelves, everything off those shelves and everything off those shelves and this shelf. Um, and then my DVDs, I'll probably keep somewhere separate over there, but it'll be a little crazy, but I'm excited to do it. So keep an eye out for that video. That's going to be coming soon. Uh, it's going to be a lot of work, so in some of my review videos and stuff in between now and then, you'll probably see movies all over the floor and things getting moved around, but i got to rearrange this a little bit. i got to make the most of this space. Um, I opened up that closet, and so there's definitely some cool things I can do with that, and I'm going to make use of that. Um, so some things to be adjusted, maybe some new equipment coming into the home theater. I've been in talks with some people to um, get some native 4k projectors in here and uh, maybe mess around with with testing some of those and seeing what that's all about from different companies so there's a lot going on there's always something happening but that gives you a little update as to where i am right now um, that's about it for the video though that's a quick collection update channel update video um, hope you liked it hope you enjoyed it really nothing groundbreaking um, but it's going to be really exciting in the next few weeks to see what I can kind of turn this into. I kind of moved in here and had to put all these movies in and just rushed into it to get them all together. And now it's been a year and I feel like I'm a little overwhelmed and I want to just really clean it up and, and make it really, you know, smooth and organized and, um, you know, put together more than I think it is right now. So we'll see how that goes. Um, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, turn on those notifications. Follow me on Instagram, that way you'll get updates as I move on this project in between videos. Uh, you'll see pictures I'm posting as I do the uh, collection uh, organization. 
And uh, also remember, if you're interested in shelving like this or projector screens or anything I have in my room, I've got Amazon links down below. Feel free to also reach out to me and ask questions. But if you do purchase anything through an Amazon link, it helps support the channel and I appreciate that. So thank you for watching guys and I will talk to you soon.